ISIS has just released a nearly five minute long video and audio statement uh, saying it would attack Russia, quote, very soon. The video is titled, Soon, Very Soon, The Blood Will Spill Like an Ocean. That video's uh, release comes at the same time as word uh, that Russia may be planning to retaliate for the crash of its metro uh, jet airliner in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula, killing all 224 people on board. Intelligence agencies have come to believe uh, ISIS's Sinai offshoot planted the bomb on that plane before takeoff. Our senior international correspondent, Nima El Bagher, is joining us now live from Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt. And our chief national security correspondent, Jim Shudo, is here in Washington. Nima, what more have we learned about this latest threat from ISIS directly to Russia? Well, Wolf, this only will serve to ramp up the concerns that have been expressed by U.S. officials all the way up to the Secretary of State for Defense, Ash Carter, that with its involvement in the Syria conflict, that Russia was opening itself up to threats by extremist groups and to extremist groups to carry out and act upon those threats. What most of those watching that video will have been looking for, though, will have been any specificity regarding the Metrojet crash, and that didn't seem to be there. We, we, we went through the video, a lot of it was very generic material, and it didn't mention any involvement or any evidence of ISIS's broader involvement in the Metrojet crash. But that really plays into what we've been hearing from intelligence officials, uh, uh, both here in Cairo and in the US, that this was very much a franchise job, that Metrojet, if it is indeed proven to be an act of terror, was one that was carried out by the ISIS Sinai offshoot and not from ISIS leadership in Syria and Iraq, Wolf. Nima, stand by. Uh, Jim, Russia was already planning a move against ISIS before this new video uh, was just released. Uh, what have you learned about Russia's plans? What is it likely to strike? What do we know? Well, U.S. officials as well as lawmakers here on the Hill who have been briefed on this believe that Russia is going to have to react if it is determined definitively that it is ISIS, and that is the most likely scenario from the U.S. point of view, that ISIS brought this Russian plane down. Uh, the U.S. is in touch with its Russian counterparts. Russia is not telegraphing exactly what military moves it would take, but I would also echo Nimmo's point, because you'll hear that from administration officials here, that Russia, through its military activity in Syria, made itself more of a target to groups like this, uh, which, of course, to be fair, the U.S., through its military action, has as well. Uh, but, but the view here is that Russian military response will be coming, uh, and it will be a severe one, in part because there will be pressure from the Russian public if it's determined and announced that this was an ISIS attack. Jim, do U.S. officials now believe Russia will be a more helpful partner to the U.S. and the other coalition partners in this war against ISIS? Well, the, the view from the administration is this, that, that that is, in effect, Russia's decision to make now. Do they get more involved against ISIS? But, but to this point, they don't see any fundamental change in Russia's priority in Syria, which is defending the regime of Bashar al-Assad. We've seen that based on the majority, the vast majority of the airstrikes that they've carried out in Syria have been really on any challenge to Bashar al-Assad and defending his shrinking area of control in the western part of the country. Uh, but they do see an opening through diplomatic channels, the talks that are going on in Vienna, where both sides could get to a place, they see a possibility, I should say, where both sides could get to a place where uh, they agree that there's a political transition and that if Bashar al-Assad is not leaving tomorrow or next month or next year, that at some point he is out of the picture when you have elections, while also, and you'll hear this from administration officials, them conceding that you don't necessarily want him out today because you've seen in other places what the collapse of the existing regime has done to stability, Libya, etc. Right. As bad as Gaddafi was, there are a lot of analysts who believe the situation there is a whole lot worse today. All right. Uh, Jim Shooter, Nimal Bagher, thanks very much.